All right, guys, even here. In this video, I'm going to show you what would happen if Kai Green competed against top five at the Mr. Olympia 2018. I will not include the Phil Heath because we are not sure if he's going to compete in 2019. Brandon Curry was out of top five at the Mr. Olympia 2018, but later he won Arnold Classic 2018, which is the second most prestige bodybuilding title in the world, beating everybody except Sean Roden. I will include him as well, but in the end, because there is no room for fifth guy in these comparisons. So let's start with the first pose and probably the most important pose of them all, and that's back double bicep. And before we even start analyzing, we can say straight away that Rolly is out of this mix. He is definitely far behind these two guys. And let's just focus on Sean Roden and Kai Green. So if you take a look at glutes, you can see that it's pretty close. They both have amazing glutes. But if you take a look at quads, sure, Sean is known for great legs. But look at the sweep on Kai's legs. And look at now at hamstrings. Kai's hamstrings are way better, way, way sharper and much more developed. But if you take a look at the back, you can see that Kai's insertions are very, very low and his lats are thick as hell. However, Sean's lats are weak, very, very weak. There is no meat on them. Traps? Traps are better on Sean, I have to admit. But again, arms? Arms are way better on Kai. And for that reason, I give this pose to Kai. Definitely. Kai is very, very good at this pose. This is one of his strongest poses, so I don't see any chance of Sean winning it. Anyways, let's go with the next two guys, Big Remy and William Bonek. So if you take a look at William Bonek, his back is thick as hell. There is a lot of muscle on it. It's just crazy. His glutes, very, very good glutes. Very good legs. Everything is developed. There is so much muscle on them. Not only his glutes, but his back and his arms, his shoulders and every single thing. But... His frame is not ideal, and he's close to high when it comes to conditioning and development. The only thing that makes Bonek lose this pose is his structure, his wide waist compared to narrow shoulders. If you take a look at the Remy, his details in glutes and hamstrings are nowhere near those of Kai. And the same thing goes with the thickness and development of his back, so Kai takes that one as well. And now we come to the back lat spread, and we're going to have Kai versus Sean versus Rowley. And uh, here I think we can just say Rolly is out of the mix. His back is very poor, very shallow, especially the lower part. There is just not enough meat there. And then let's just compare Kai and Sean. And then again, glutes, close. Quads. Now take a look at quads. Look at sweep. <laughs> look at Kai's sweep. Kai's sweep is crazy. You would say Sean is known for legs, but <laughs> Kai, man, another level. Another level. And then look at those adductors, look at those hamstrings on Kai, <laughs> crazy, just so much muscle on them. And the thickness of his lower back, the lats, much better than Sean's. So he takes that one as well. And now let's compare him to Remy and Bonac. And this is no competition, basically. Sure, Bonac is known for being a blocky guy and very, very muscular guy. He's so full, so thick, but he's... Structure. Structure is his weakness. Look at the narrow shoulders. That's not enough to win against guys like Kai. Then again, you have Big Remy, who has perfect structure, but the conditioning is not there. In this pose, his glutes look fine, but the hamstrings are nowhere near there. And uh, this one takes Kai again. Now we come to front double bicep. This is probably second most important pose in bodybuilding. And uh, here, Rolly is in the game, for sure. But the reason why I will say Rolly loses this one is the details in his legs, especially quads. Um, he's just looking soft compared to these two guys. If you take a look at their Kai's legs, they're so grainy, so dry. The same thing with Sean. But if you take a look at the arms, Kai's bicep peaks are crazy. His uh, thickness of his lats, actually, also very, very good. But it's a close shot. It's a close pose. I would go pretty much either way. You can go either way, but I will still say Kai because of those legs. Those legs are just huge, and it's odd that somebody beats Sean because of legs. Sean has great legs, but Kai's legs are one of the best legs in the history of the world. And Sean's stomach here doesn't look very good. People say Kai has bubble gut, but look at Sean's stomach. There is some kind of bump in the area of his belly button. It's just... Like he swallowed something big. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I think Kai's stomach looks more aesthetic here. 
So this one is close between these two guys, but I still give it to Kai. Then we come to front double bicep. Again, Bonek looks so thick and he's not this tall. The proportions here are horrible. He looks taller than both of these guys and he's just much smaller than them. But again, uh, doesn't really matter because of his structure. His shoulders to waist ratio. For that reason, he loses this one. We are left with Kai and Rami. And Rami is looking also very, very odd here. He looks like he's in so much pain. So he's not very comfortable in this pose. I give this one to Kai easily. From this bunch, nobody here can come near Kai and in the front double bicep pose, which is one of the most important poses. So, so far, Kai wins two major poses, the most important ones, back double bicep and front double bicep. So let's go with the next pose now. All right, so we have front lat spread. Also, one of the most important poses, I would say third most important pose. <laughs> and uh, here again, Roll is doing great. But the thing is that I don't like about him hitting this pose is that he doesn't show lats. And it's called front lat spread. He actually shows more of his arms and his chest. Which is good. I mean, you show it the way you want, the way it works best for you. But I, don't, I would just like to see some lats. And he's hiding them with his arms. And again, his uh, quads are not showing enough detail and graininess and dryness like Kai's does. Look at those veins on Kai's legs. And look at how thick those legs are. You can say that Sean's legs are very thick and they are connected in the middle part. They are so meaty, but Kai is better. Kai is much more meaty and his scales are also looking better. Gives a greater illusion. And if you go upstairs, you can see that Sean's chest is pretty shallow. His arms are weak. And that's not the case with Kai. Kai wins this one. And against these two guys as well. Bonek doesn't look very aesthetic in this pose. He looks like he's in pain. He doesn't seem comfortable here. And uh, Ram is good. This is Ram's good pose because he's so wide. Look at the width of the shoulders. But again, Kai wins it as well because of conditioning. And then we come to most muscular pose. And uh, this one I would give to Roly. This one I would give to Roly. Actually, even though his legs are not as defined as those two guys, he can hide them with those huge arms because those arms are super freaky. One of the greatest arms ever. And his chest is looking also thicker than both of these guys. But uh, what do I say about Kai versus Sean? Well, I would give to Kai once again. His legs are looking thicker, more defined, more, more feathered. And uh, the same thing goes with arms. His arms are bigger, more defined, more veins on them. And just better arms overall. I mean, they are more developed. Sean is not known for his arms. His arms are very, very bad. And Kai, Kai's biceps are one of the biggest biceps ever. And they're both known for a big chest, but I give it to Kai. Then we come to uh, these two guys, the next two guys. And this one, well, I, I wouldn't give it to Kai here. I would give it to probably to Bonek first because of so much muscle. I mean, his biceps are pushing his chest. He, his biceps are pushing his shoulders, literally. This is just crazy how much muscle this guy has. And uh, I'll give it the next to Rami because Rami's legs are looking insane here and shoulders and everything. So, yep, uh, those guys beat uh, Kai as well. Kai is horrible and most muscular. Then we come to side chest pose. And here you can see all of them. And I would just definitely not give it to Sean, even though he shows great separation in glutes. But this is not about glutes. This pose is about the chest and uh, arms as well, chest and biceps. And he is just posing horribly. You cannot see any muscle on his arms compared to Kai, who has amazing arm development here, as well as uh, Rowley and Bonak and Rami. So I would say Sean is the worst here. The second place here, I would probably give to uh, Rami, actually. But because of the conditioning, I would still go with Kai. And uh, Bonak is also very good here. So this is one is very close. This one is close, but because of the size and overall conditioning, I would still give it to Kai. And we come to side triceps. Definitely not Sean. Definitely not Sean. His triceps are very, very small, like one small little line, almost invisible. Bonak is the only one who does this kind of variation, Dorian Yates variation, with one leg behind. And looks great. It looks awesome. Kai is not really hitting it. Uh, Roll is also not hitting it properly. Rami doesn't look very good. So I would go with uh, either Roly because of his humongous triceps, Kai because of his conditioning and the leg mass, 
or bone because of his overall thickness to his physique. Definitely not Sean or Remy. And then we come to absent eyes, and pretty much nobody can beat Sean in this pose. This is just his pose by far. The only guy that comes close here is actually Rolly. Rolly looks so aesthetic. His uh, stomach is looking beautiful, but the details in his quads are not there. So I'll give it to Sean. The only pose so far that Sean takes. And back double bicep was close. But uh, still, Kai won that one. And we come to Kai now. Look at him. Not perfect, but not bad. The feathers in his quads are actually making him look good. And the ram is looking funny. The same thing with Bonak. They are horrible at these poses. So I'll give it to Sean. Next place, Rolly. And third place, Kai. And now let's go with the next part of this video, the second part, and that's gonna be just Kai versus Brandon Curry. Even though Sean Roden is the current Mr. Olympia and Brandon only won Arnold Classic 2019, I think Brandon has bigger chances to win this Mr. Olympia. It's gonna be hard for him against Sean because of his legs. Sean is going to expose that with his humongous quads. Even though back and legs are two most important body parts, just like back wasn't enough for Phil Heath to win 2018, I think that's how 2019 it's not gonna be enough for Sean to win simply because of legs. I think Brandon's upper body is way, way better than Sean's. So I think Brandon has bigger chances to win it. And so I think it's much more interesting to compare him to Kai because it's much closer actually, guys. And uh, let's start with this front double bicep pose. So as you can see, it's close. It's close actually. Yeah, there is an obvious difference when it comes to legs, Kai's legs are just way more massive, but if you take a look at the upper body, if you take a look at just the flow of the physique, the tight waist that Brandon has, the great V taper, wide shoulders, very, very nice, symmetrical, round, full, and shredded arms, alongside with this beautiful chest, it's just a beautiful physique, just flows so well. And for that reason, I give this pose actually to Brandon Curry, not to Kai. Yep, you heard it right. Let's go with the next pose. And as you can see, that's most muscular pose. And it's interesting because Kai is not known for having great most muscular pose. But his legs in this pose show great separation. These feathers are just looking super impressive. And they are dwarfing Brion pretty much. And I don't know what uh, ratio should it be. I never really saw these two guys one next to another but I'm pretty sure I'm way off, so let's not take a look at the size one to another, just take a look at size compared to the rest of their body parts. And again, I think Kai's arms are looking better here, chest as well and everything. He just seems more muscular and uh, I give this pose to, to Kai, yeah. Well, let's go with the next pose now and that side chest pose. This one is actually very close. If you take a look at their arms, they're very, very close there. Same thing goes with chest. Kai's chest is not that good, but it's pretty close to Brandon's, but the only reason why I give it to Kai is simply because of legs. Their upper bodies are almost equal, but when it comes to legs, Kai is destroying him, so for that reason he gets points and he wins this pose. Let's go with the next one. Almost all of these poses that you saw of Kai are from 2016 Arnold Classic, but some of them are not. For example, this one, I think this is just a photo shoot, it's not even competition, but that I found what I found, and the ratio seems very much off here as well. It doesn't really, I don't think Kai is this much bigger, but anyways, still, he just looks more impressive. Maybe this is photoshopped, I don't know if Kai really looks this big in real life, but if it is true, I give it to Kai. And I'm pretty sure that Hikai is better than him in this pose as well. But it will be a battle, it will be definitely close. But again, Kai's legs are just overpowering. He, he's just destroying him with that department, with legs department. His legs are just world class. Let's go with the next pose. And this one as well, this is not Kai from 2016, it's a mother year. I think this is like 2014 Mr. Olympia or something like that. And uh, if you compare these two photos, you can say it's very close, but Kai's lats are very, very massive, and his legs as well. So I have to give it to Kai, guys. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Kai is just better here. I wanted Brandon to win this one. I love Brandon. He's just one of my favorite bodybuilders, but I have to give it to Kai. Let's be objective. Let's go with the next pose. And so we come to absent eyes, one of the strongest poses for Brandon, but one of the weakest poses for Kai. 
Sure, Kai is showing great um, leg development. His feathers on his quads are looking amazing. His arms are looking humongous here as well. His lats are popping, sure. But Brandon's waist is just so tight that it makes this pose look amazing. And he can cross his legs like this and show a lot of inner ties, which makes his legs look bigger. He creates great illusion. So he doesn't look weak. I mean, his legs don't look weak here. And his uh, waist is very tight. Everything looks good. So I give this one to Brandon. And so we come to the most important pose of them all, probably. And that's back double bicep. And again, this is not Kai from 2016. This is just what I found, and he is not that much different, but I'm sure that this one, this edition is better than 2016. Anyways, um, if you compare their backs, they're close. Brandon's back is very, very good. His small waist is making it look even more impressive than it is. But Kai's lats are just something special, man. Nobody had these thick lats. Pretty much nobody in the history. Dorian was very, very thick, very good lats, but I don't think he had this much mass. Kai just took it to another level. And... Um, if you just ignore the back, if you say back is equal, then let's check what is left and it's the legs and look at those glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. Guy is just completely annihilating him. He's making him look like a boy standing next to a man. So I don't even need to think about this too much. It's obvious that Kai takes it. And so we come to the last pose for this video and that's gonna be back lat spread. And yep, Brandon is one of the greatest backs in the world right now especially with this crazy crazy small waist but kai is one of the greatest backs in the history of the world you cannot deny him that so their backs are very good both of them and uh, maybe brandon's traps are a bit thicker and bigger but it's close it's close when it comes to back but then when you look at downstairs basically both brandon's legs are looking like kai's one leg <laughs> so it's not even funny kai is just destroying him in the in the lower body department and for that reason, I believe that if Kai came back and looked like this, like he looked in 2016, he will easily beat every single guy at the Mr. Olympia. Phil Heath is probably not competing, so it's gonna be simply Kai versus these other guys. And Kai should know that, and Kai should give all that he has into this prep and compete at the Mr. Olympia and win the throne, because he can do it easily. He is just a whole other level. He is not in the same class as these guys. He is special. He is something that we saw a couple of times in the history of the world. You don't see it with this very often, and there is nothing like this today in today's bodybuilding. So, I know Kai doesn't really care about bodybuilding anymore, and he's probably not going to come back, but if he did, hypothetically, he would probably win the show, as you just saw in this comparison, and hopefully agreed with me. If you haven't agreed with me, tell me why didn't you? And if you did, tell me why you did. If you like the video, make sure to like it, and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.